This question relates to the concept of gauge R&R or measurement system analysis MSA. So the question goes like this. A gauge repeatability and reproducibility study checks which of the following aspects of the measurement system. The options are accuracy, precision, resolution and uh, stability. To answer this question you need good uh, solid background on the theoretical concept of uh, MSA. If you don't know my request is please go and uh, revise that. Accuracy talks about uh, the deviation from the standard right so how good is the reading as against the standard or the norm precision talks about the variation which is there in the readings immaterial of whether it is accurate or not are we consistently getting those values or not resolution talks about the least count uh, the smallest value that you can measure in the instrument for example a scale a normal scale steel rule that we use can measure up to uh, millimeter you cannot measure anything less than that right so the resolution is more to do with the design of the equipment or the gauge itself and stability is how does it perform over a period of time uh, is it consistently giving same values over a period of time uh, maybe either because of uh, weather conditions or because of wear and tear uh, does it deviate slowly with time so the repeatability and reproducibility study in itself is a study where you want to assess if there is a, a variation because of the equipment and if there is a variation because of the appraiser that is the person who is measuring because in real life we may have more than one person who is using the gauge and they may use the gauge in different ways and sometimes the gauge itself uh, may behave differently and we need to discern or find out if the variation is because of the person or because of its inherent uh, problem, the gauge's problem. So this study of gauge r and is primarily nothing to do with the standard. So the answer to this question is B. We are trying to measure the precision by the definition that I explained earlier.